Hi, welcome again. So, in this lesson, let us talk about our fourth testing type and that is change related test type. So, in the previous lessons, we talked about functional testing, we talked about non-functional testing, we talked about structural type of testing and in this lesson, let us learn about what is test types that are related to changes that are made in testing. So, whenever we are changing software, so another word for changing software is maintaining software. So, change related testing is done after a change is made to an existing system or software. So, whenever you are maintaining the software, meaning you are changing the software, then first thing you have to do after changing, you have to confirm that whatever change you have done is working perfectly now and that type of testing is called retesting or confirmation testing. Why do we do? To prove that the whatever change we have done to the system is in order and if it is not working what we will do? We will change again and do the retesting. But let us say the change is working after you have confirmed that the change is perfect now. Is it enough? It is not enough after the fix is working, you have to do another type of testing and that type of testing is called regression testing. So, we will try to understand what is regression testing, why do we need to do regression testing. So, let us try to understand few points about change related testing. So, it is often triggered by changes to the software or by external changes. So, a software is there software can undergo change. Many reasons are there for software to change, a bug fix, a planned release, a planned enhancement of the software or sometimes unplanned enhancements to the software. That is changes to the software that is being tested, that can happen. Not only that, always a software runs in its own environment on an operating system, on a hardware, on a particular database. That is what we call the environment of the software. Even sometimes software may not change but the environment might change. Even then you have to perform this change related testing types you have to apply, retesting and regression testing. So, the first point is change related testing may be triggered by changes to the software or by external changes. It includes retesting to confirm that an existing fault was removed from the system. So, one type is retesting to confirm that an existing fault was removed from the system and that is what we do and we call it as retesting. The third point is it is not sufficient if we do only confirmation testing after we made a change. We have to also do something called regression testing. So, we include regression testing. Why do we do? To confirm that the change did not negatively impact parts of the system that did not change. Let me explain. So, whenever you make a change to the software and you did a confirmation testing and the change is perfect now, but unfortunately software is such an artifact which is very intricate, intricately integrated. Though you change in one part, there may be an area which is depending on this area may be adversely impacted. Because the software is so intricately integrated, even if we change one area of the software, it might adversely impact other unchanged areas or perfectly working areas. So, that is what we call risk of regression. So, how do we ensure that our changes did not cause any risk of regression of quality? So, for that we have to rerun all the tests that we have executed to ensure that no adverse effect happened to the software post change made to the software. That is what is the third point about regression testing. I will explain you better in the next sessions, uh, next uh, slides. So, let us understand little bit more deeply about retesting. So, retesting is as a tester, a software build came to you and you test it and as you tested, you have run many tests. Let us say a test has failed, meaning the software is not working as expected. So, it fails. 
what do you do you report a fault so run a test if it fails fault is reported then what happens the fault is reported to the developer developer will open the code and try to debug the problem and fix the problem and when they fixed what did they do they changed the software whatever version of the software that you previously tested has been now modified so a new build will be released to you by the developers after they do the fix so a new version of the software arrives at you then what you do you will rerun the same test that's why we are calling it as retest meaning let's say you have executed 100 tests on the software 77th test case failed previously so you reported a bug now the new build arrived with that bug fixed what do you do you will take out the 77th test case and rerun the same test so when you rerun the te same test what you do you will keep the things same like what you have done previously must be exactly repeatable same environment versions except for the build that has been intentionally changed by the developer same inputs same preconditions you will execute the same way everything is same except that you have tested previously on a previous build now you are testing a build that has been fixed so now that testing is called retesting so what happens if the test passes you are happy you confirm that s yes, whatever i reported earlier is working perfectly if it is not you will tell back to the developer hey this did not get fixed please look at the problem that is what we call retesting <clears throat> let us look at from a graphical point of view the same explanation i told you let's say on the screen you are seeing a software that has build 1 has arrived at you and you have written some 100 test cases to test them and when you tested all 99 tests have passed but one test case has failed that is as i told you for example the 77th test case the into mark on your screen so what you do you report this bug to the developer and developer what they do they fix it they locate this problem they debug it and then make modification to the code to fix this problem so fault is now fixed so the build a new build of this software comes to you at the time what you do you will take the your 77th test case keep everything same and test on this new build and you have retested and it is perfect now so that is what you were retesting and confirmation testing but retesting is not sufficient because developer has modified this area of the software but unfortunately it may have lot of interconnections between other areas of the software which were perfect previously so as i told you whenever you change the software we run a risk of regression regression is taking a backward trend something that was good earlier suddenly gone bad that is what we call regression it is anti progression if you are progressing means we are improving if you are not improving but we are taking a backward trend then we call it as regressing so always whenever a change is made to a software there is a risk of regression so let's say it has some interconnected connections so the fault that has been fixed because of that you modified code that has introduced some new bugs that were not previously there in the software so now all the white into marks you are seeing this was not there previously but because the software is modified we may get into this kind of situation new faults may be introduced because of the fault fixed and these were not found earlier these were not there in the software earlier so if you only do retesting will you find them no you cannot find them because your retesting is focused only on executing that test case that has failed previously but we may have a risk of regression like this so what do you do and to ensure that we do regression testing what does regression mean regression means getting worse or falling back to a previous or worse condition so regression testing aims at executing the tests to verify the unintended effects these are all unintended effects i have not touched that part of the software where new bugs are happening i have not intended so it is unintended 
So how do I ensure that this unintended effects on the system after the changes to the software made? I have to rerun all the tests at my disposal to ensure that there is no risk of regression in the software. So regression testing aims at executing the tests to verify the unintended effects on the system after the changes to the software. So that is what is regression testing. So now let us understand a little bit more clearly about regression testing. So when we are talking about regression testing, the software may change as I told you previously or that is what we call test object might change. So whenever we are talking about a software, there is a software and this software works in an environment. So the red circle I am showing there is called software that is test object. And this works under test environment, the bigger orange circle there. So change can happen to any one of these. And whenever change happens, we have a risk of regression. So let us say, now changes are happening to the test object. Okay, So the red circle inside this big yellow circle has become red triangle, meaning my test object underwent change. So what are the, why these changes happen? These changes can happen because of bug fixes or minor modifications done to the software or new functionality that is added to the software, sometimes new integrations built with other software. And whenever you make some changes to the software based on bug fixes and release as a service pack, whenever you apply patches to the software or whenever the interfaces are being changed, all these potential things can lead to changes to be made in the test object, the software itself. So whenever that happens, we must perform regression testing. If we don't, what happens? We have, we have, we'll run a risk of regression, that is taking a backward trend in quality. So to ensure that, we must perform regression testing. Or, as I told you, software did not change. But software's environment might change. Now, the red circle inside the yellow circle did not change. But the yellow circle itself, the environment itself changed. So now, what are the triggers for that change? Many. The browsers through which we are accessing the software, maybe the vendor has released a new browser version, new operating system versions, new databases, new deployment configuration, the hardware itself, third party products that are changing. My software is working with another software and that software is going through a change. Then also I run a risk of regression or the medium, the storage, the <coughs> memories, this kind of changes also can lead to the environment changes. So any of these changes happen if we want to avoid the risk of quality regression, we must perform what we call regression tests. So let us get back to our previous graphic. We have made a fix because the 77th test case failed and that has been fixed now and it has resulted in those four new defects which were not earlier there. So how do we find them before giving it to the customer? Can we find it by only performing confirmation testing? No, we cannot perform. We cannot know that these things have not happened. So how do we know that all the things are good? For that only way to run all the 100 tests again. And you may run all 100 tests and some of the defects that have occurred because of the change, you can find. But if you look at the below white into mark, still in spite of conducting a regression testing, we cannot guarantee that we will find all defects. In fact, in our testing principles, we talked about pesticide paradox. If you apply repeatedly the same test suites again and again in software, like a pesticide loses its effect, your test suites also can lose effect to find all defects. That is the reason you have to always constantly understand the change that is happening to the software and you have to modify your test suites. Unless you modify your test suites, you may not find all the defects also, even in spite of doing regression testing. So, hope you have understood the change related testing types, retesting and regression testing. And we will talk a little bit more about 
pre-testing and regression testing in the next lesson that is maintenance testing but hope you have understood so far and if you have any questions please post in the discussion forums and I will be addressing it. Learn, have fun.